line more right, you're too square. Even more. Perfect. All right, now look at the target. Go ahead and hit your goal shot for me. Imagine I'm holding that left foot. Hit the shot. Awfully close. The path is good. Okay. Yeah. Prop face a little close to path. That's all. Foot felt it was anchored though. I'm way more stable, you agree? So let's do the same thing. And again, let's work on that release pattern. So I want to do exactly the same thing. Definitely lower body a little bit more underneath. You go ahead and set up to a corner. And as we're coming in there, we're straightening the left arm a little too much and we've got a little too much rotation in here, right? So again, we're going to maintain some flex in this back, in this back arm as you move into impact. And the release is a little bit more this way, right? Mm -hmm. So now you can start to feel how the back of your right hand is starting to work up a little bit more mm -hmm. as opposed to over. Mm -hmm. All right? That's the feeling you have when you're hitting those... 290 bombs and you're hitting those little cuts that's what you've got to work into it and again it's just it's just understanding that release pattern matches your grip right. and then every every three or four cuts go ahead and hit a couple draws okay just to keep things on the straight and narrow you don't want to be hitting all your shots from right to left but certainly in, when you're playing under pressure you're playing tournaments i want to see that ball starting right and then moving left for right, sure. so I have, you me hit a draw here hit the cut again right. but i want a, a little bit better uh release pattern okay Right to left. That's phenomenal. Uh, fantastic. You feel the difference? That's good. You're doing great. Well done.